today, what I'd like to do is to talk about utilizing digital dentistry and CAD CAM prosthetics to optimize treatment outcomes. This will be part three, which will uh, we have already done part one and part two. This will be part three, the final restoration, fabrication, and delivery. Before exploring the fabrication of the final restoration, it is instructive to revisit the prosthetically driven treatment plan. The first article illustrated how precise tooth movement was accomplished with digitally fabricated Invisalign aligners. Hence, improving the position of the lower teeth while establishing the correct occlusion for the planned restoration. Composite resin was used to restore the incisal edges and return the mandibular anterior teeth to their original incisal gingival height. Optimal excess overjet was created with tooth movement to allow proper room for the maxillary screw-retained implant bridge. In part two, we focused on the digital workflow used for CBCT and intraoral scanning, virtual determination of implant positioning, guided surgical implant placement, and design and fabrication of the provisional implant prosthesis. DICOM data files were merged with the STL digital impression files to create a virtual planning platform facilitating design and fabrication of the surgical guide used for implant placement, as well as the creation of a pre-made BioTemps provisional implant prosthesis. After placing the implants in the exact position called for by the digital treatment planning, the screw-retained PMMA provisional restoration was immediately loaded and worn by the patient to confirm the fit, aesthetics, and occlusion of the proposed restorative design. After completion of healing and successful integration of the inclusive tapered implants, the stage was set for a smooth, predictable transition to the final restoration. By the time the final restoration was delivered, healthy, aesthetic emergence profiles were evident around the implants and in the areas of the pontics. This would contribute significantly to the lifelike final restoration. Our requirements for the six-unit screw-retained implant bridge included excellent aesthetics, acceptable functional occlusion, high strength and wear resistance, retrievability, and reasonable cost. Bruxer full-strength solid zirconia was chosen as it best met the desired criteria. Flexural strengths of up to 1,465 megapascals and the material's superior resistance to wear and fracture were particularly beneficial in this case because of the patient's history of bruxing, clenching, and grinding. Continuing the 100% digital workflow, additional scans were taken to finalize the restorative design. We were so pleased with the form, function, and aesthetics of the original PMMA provisional that we wanted to duplicate its surface morphology as well as the slight alterations made to the cusp tips in the final restoration. The Itero Element Interall Digital Scanner was used to generate a digital impression of the BioTemps provisional implant bridge so the lab could incorporate the minor modifications into the final prosthetic design. The patient was referred for CBCT scans for radiographic documentation of implant integration. Inclusive scanning abutments were connected to the four maxillary anterior implants and the intraoral scans were taken with the itero element, generating a digital impression of the spinal soft tissue surface anatomy. This provided the lab with the information needed to ensure the final prosthesis emerged from the soft tissue with the most aesthetic manner possible. Using digital CAD software, the intraoral scan of the original PMMA provisional was merged with the implant level digital impression. The CAD design for the final six unit screw retained implant bridge was fine tuned to match the patient's final gingival anatomy and incorporate the slight modifications made to the cusp tips of the PMMA provisional. Note the digital comparison of the PMMA provisional CAD design and the final Bruxer design showed that the screw access holes were in perfect alignment, verifying that the integrated implants were situated in precise alignment with their virtually planned positions. 
The final CAD design was digitally prepared for fabrication and the six unit Bruxer implant bridge was milled from a block of Bruxer full strength solid zirconia. Following milling, the lab bonded gold tone titanium bases into the screw access holes of the prosthesis. At the final delivery appointment, the six unit screw retained Bruxer bridge was seated on the four inclusive tapered implants. Teflon tape was condensed into the screw access holes to help protect the heads of the retention screws and allow future retrieval of the prosthesis. The Teflon tape was then covered with a composite resin completing delivery of the final restoration. The aesthetics, occlusion, and function of the final restoration were excellent and precisely duplicated those of the patient-approved PMMA provisional restoration. Due to the restorative space and tooth positioning established by the pre-implant orthodontic treatment, the Bruxer implant bridge established ideal occlusion with the opposing mandibular incisors. The patient was very pleased with the final result, which restored her smile and corrected several dental problems present at the time of the initial consultation. The 100% digital workflow utilized to achieve the predictable final result illustrates why the future is now for clinicians who are ready to embrace these technological advances. Thank you.